Hello, hello, beautiful lights, uh, beautiful beings. What does it mean to trust life completely? What does it mean to trust guidance and love and God? What does it mean to really let that trust to lead and f your life not your mind but something within you how do we trust that how do we follow that voice sometimes we need little uh, evidence that oh this actually happened and but then we forget sometimes we want to see or have it proof that I'm, I'm going in the right direction we are always going in the right direction no matter what and no matter wh where you are no matter what you do we're always going in the right direction the only thing is if it's uh, something that comes more from our mind rather than the heart it will bring us lessons it will bring us experiences that will remind us hey it's not the way you know it's it's the your true self your heart is actually wants you to go that way so when situations happen in life that we don't understand it's always like a reminder it's always something that just tells us listen think about that again like when we repeating the situations in life at some point we feel so exhausted and we ask the question why is this happening again and it's happening again because it's like a program when we are programmed when we are actually coming from the mind uh, the patterns the behaviors uh, we operate as a program in life so that's why certain things they just repeat and re repeat uh, until we get the information until we wake up and we move back to our heart and when you're in the flow with with what comes from within you from your essence of who you are there's no planning there's no need for uh, thinking about it that much it's everything goes more with the flow and trust and the situations that you uh, experience then in that flow and uh, they will bring you that what you need as everything it always comes to us what we need to experience but when you are in the heart energy when you are in your when that openness uh, knowing that you're coming from your heart that you're following uh, this path of uh, your uh, awakening of your connecting with the with the soul with the light that you are when situations happen you react in a different way there's more acceptance there's more surrender to it and that's when the miracles starts to happen and that's the beauty of the uh, journey of your heart because it stops to be it, it's really it's not tiring anymore it's not uh exhausting it's more it, it, it becomes more like something that it's actually part of you and you're naturally able to uh, move through this you are naturally able to to experience that with with more ease uh, and because you don't create any uh, resistance to that um, So 
trusting your heart, trusting your whatever's unfolding in your life and how you react to it, then you know if your decisions and actions were coming from your heart or from the mind. Your body will tell you, your, uh, you will feel if it, there's more tiredness or if there's more um, ease or maybe there's more uh, struggle. So it's a beautiful journey of discovery uh, of who we are. It's really incredible. And then when you get to the place when, when you really sink into you, into your beingness, uh, when you stop looking out there for uh, fulfillment of your desires and uh, need to be better or uh, accepted, and when you start to dive deeper within, You start the journey of the of your life. It's like you are born again. It's like you. It's, it's like a new earth, new beginning you create in every moment of your existence. Uh, because every moment is here and now. And now, as Eckhart Tolle says, uh, just being in the present moment. Because we are always creating a new life uh, on Earth and new experiences. And when you allow your heart to guide you, your and just be mindful and of when when it's your heart or when it's the mind or desire, because we can we can keep saying like you know if the mind is really tricky, ego is really tricky. It will tell you, oh, I follow my heart, I follow my heart. But the ego likes to name that, that this is your path. And uh, when you follow your heart, you really feel it. You really, uh, you're in it. Uh, you're in it. You're in it. It's not, do you have to take people and everything around you with you to feel or experience that fullness? You don't need your, I don't know, new car. You don't need a house or a more friends or you know new relationships or you don't need something to replace something in you because you find everything within and then naturally it kind of becomes a you're becoming magnet to to uh, life you start to attracting right situations people that you would never expect that to happen in your life and that's also beautiful um, yeah surrendering to God completely and uh, having that trust that okay you know better what it's uh, what I need for now you know better what I why I attracted this situation and and having that perspective and not creating resistance as oh my god why this is happening to me or why is that what's going on and when you really allow what is to be with that excitement and with that uh, trust that everything is okay because I have everything that I need so my reality it doesn't try to fill the gaps in me but my reality is uh, projecting just situations as they are and they if my mind wants wants to interpret them it will interpret that as a as something as something good or bad as another choice as another option the mind will keep start jumping and will uh, give us like labels and advice and surrendering to what is to god to yourself is saying okay that that's what it is wow that's beautiful this is what's happening and from the the, the, the place that you are in the now the mind wants to jump in and say oh, okay you're here now so you have to do this and this and that and and because we are getting so easy to we get caught up in the, the mind so quickly 
every time when there's that opportunity of 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 the uh, your heart uh, path or your light path, uh, everything is beautiful. So there's no wrong and right, and everything is part of existence. But sometimes when we get um, when we have something, when experience something brilliant, like our mind will rush to give you a new idea oh you should do this now you should do that and instead of allowing yourself to feel what is and allowing just yourself to observe and giving time to what is and not really putting labels on it you were allowed the, the energy naturally to unfold you will let the the, the mind clouds to kind of fade away so give yourself some time for whenever uh, you know whatever situation is happening and decisions you have to make or whatever is going on it's good to to take that space and uh, and time with jumping into the next mind ideas next desire next um, illusion because it, you will get caught in it you will get caught in it and then you come back and and you ask yourself oh my god why is this again your mind it's it's happening again because it comes from your program if it's natural if it's uh, if it's your heart it will bring you so many gifts like unexpected gifts um, that will fulfill the, the that will allow your heart just to feel more and more it will bring you gifts that you they don't need to be uh, it doesn't have to be a next new thing that you buy or you get or you need to go somewhere because you will have and you will find everything within you within your heart and and that moment you create your reality because you're complete you're uh, you're you're connected and and that's the moment when you're a true creator that's the moment when you start to attract and create your life from your heart from that true uh, pure energy uh, of your existence and it's uh, and it's so beautiful and it's so beautiful to to have that to experience that uh, because there's no struggle there's no struggle it's just love uh, and challenges they will still come they will still happen but they they, they they come they just show up and they they they're here they come and they go because they won't disturb your peace they won't disturb your joy they'll they're just they just show up and you'll feel them you'll you you can stay with them you can experience them but you're not attached to them anymore because it's not who you are, the ex, ex, um, external, the, the, the illusion, the, the things we see and we think, it's not who we are, uh, who we are, it's more what you feel and what's, what's within you and, uh, and that's the beauty of it, and that's the beauty of it. Um, enjoy your day, have, a, have an amazing day and saying hello from the little tree that is here uh, with me today. Uh, bye bye.